As somebody once said, we didn't move out of the Stone Age because we ran out of stones. You have to essentially develop new technologies that are better, not necessarily because you run out of something, but because there are other problems and, and, and better alternatives. In seeing the recent trends over the past three, four years, it's very clear to me that wind energy, in fact, is, is on a really steep growth path globally. So last year, in uh, collaboration with a colleague and a postdoc, Raul Kahl, we thought up a, a, a very nice research project to study the interactions between large amounts of wind turbines and turbulent wind that flows over the Earth's surface. When you, when you want to see what are the effects of these um, huge massive structures on the atmosphere. You want to be able to quantify them. You want to recognize what is it that these structures do. What happens when you put these turbines too close or too far apart, not only horizontally but vertically, if you align them staggered or in parallel. So all of these are different effects that we want to be able to comprehend and quantify rather than just going out there and building these massive structures, implementing them and not knowing what's really going to happen. The modern wind turbine is in fact the largest rotating turbo machinery ever built. The way they, they work is the wind blows on them and they're essentially a inverted propeller. The kinetic energy in the wind it generates a torque on the blade which makes it turn and then that is connected to a, an electric generator. One of the convenient and wonderful things of fluid dynamics is something called similarity, which means you can, under some conditions, you can do tests at smaller scales compared to the real thing. So what we try to do here in the wind tunnel is we scale everything down. Everything becomes very minute, very small. The models that we have here are 18 centimeters. In real life, they can go up to 100 meters. 150 meters high. The experiment that uh, we are uh, about to conduct essentially generates uh, a wind in the wind tunnel. Then we feed that airflow through an active grid. An active grid, what that creates is higher levels of uh, free stream turbulence. So this also helps us mimic what happens in real life. Using something that is called uh, particle image velocimetry, which is a relatively new measurement technique in fluid mechanics, we will take very detailed velocity measurements. What we're trying to do is um, obtain the velocities and the flow field for that particular case in front and in the back of, a, of one wind turbine. After it has gone through two rows of uh, turbines, and that is done to see the cumulative effect. So the, the way this technique works is uh, very simple, in fact. You seed the air with very tiny particles. They're so tiny that they're actually really following the air flow in great detail. And then you, with a laser, you generate a light sheet, which is very thin, and that light sheet is illuminated twice, so it's pulsed twice. And you take uh, pictures of, the, of what you see. When we do the image analysis, we see that every dot is actually duplicated. There's two dots for every particle. And since we know the time difference between the two laser shots, we can find the velocity. So we get a snapshot, an instantaneous snapshot, of the air velocity at that particular point. Having these vectors, having these vector maps, allows us to actually calculate and evaluate how much flow of kinetic energy is going from one place to another place. When you go out into, into the real life, into real flows, it's much more complex. So you cannot account for everything that is happening all at once. So here, at least, we, we start to understand um, control parameters that, that we can tweak. As it is always with research, we don't quite know what exactly we will find. We don't know how exactly we will analyze the data after finding the preliminary things that we, we tend to uh, go fairly open-minded into subjects like this and, and let the phenomenon guide us and, 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 and see what happens.